Hello everyone, it's Daniel here from InfraVest. Hope you're all doing well. So, we have very interesting news coming out from Opendoor, cutting 22% of their workforce, right? Opendoor is basically an online real estate firm and they're the ones who go out and say that, hey, we can sell your home very quickly, make you a profit, etc., etc. Right? We see out today right now, if you look at the markets in April, rebounding, look at many stocks, tech stocks. If you look at Facebook year to date, it's up 80%. Right? You look at uh, also the real estate market, slowly buyers are somewhat coming back in. You're hearing that, hey, things are fine. You're hearing realtors talk about that, hey, you're going to get the pause and rate hikes. So we're gonna pause, now that means we're gonna get rate cuts. Yeah, we're gonna get rate cuts eventually, soon. Probably when things really get worse off, that's when you're gonna get the rate hike, rate cuts. But, you know, with that in mind, keeping that in mind, it doesn't necessarily mean things are good, things are okay. Especially when you get an article like this, which I'll link in the description for you to read up on, Online real estate firm comes out here from CNBC. Online real estate firm Open Door cuts 22% of workforce. Open Door Technologies on Tuesday said it was cutting roughly 560 jobs or 22% of the workforce at the online US real estate firm, citing a declining housing market. Well, yeah, I mean, look, rates have gone up massively and people are worried and people are looking at um, you know the payments that they have to make if not if they not only own you know one house or a couple of properties that's you know more payments to be made especially if no one's renting them out or if they're vacation homes or etc right and it could be very very dangerous to if you get the unemployment rate to spike and a lot of these people lose their jobs. So yeah, nobody's buying, nobody, although you know it may sound so great to buy another property when the bull market's back in or the bull market's gonna come soon or you know 10 years from now or whatever the case may be. The point is that nobody can buy in this environment when rates are very, very high. So everyone's feeling the pinch, right? Rates are high, food is high, groceries high, cost of eating, living, everything, rent is all high. So when you get news like this, that open door is feeling the pinch, cutting and laying off workers just has to tell you and show you that demand has completely plunged, which is not a very good sign because you could see more to come if things get worse off. Right now, one may argue that, oh, then that means that, you know, also um, there's not much properties out there for sale. There's an inventory issue still not much listings. Sure, it's all supply and demand. However, if things really get worse off and we're talking about not your typical mild recession that the Fed is saying you're getting a hard landing and there's panic and the unemployment rate skyrockets and people do lose their jobs and they can't afford the payments, there will be people who will panic to sell at any price possible, which will not be good down the road. So definitely, um, you know, Open Door is feeling the pinch, especially with the massive number of 22% of layoffs of their workforce. So going into the article again, the announcement followed a previous round of layoffs in November. They already laid off a couple of people in November um, when the San Francisco cut 550 jobs or about 18% of the workforce at the time. So they went with the 18% cut in November, now slapping on another 22%. We're, talk, we're, we're taking these actions now to better align our operational costs with the anticipated near-term market opportunity, the company said in an email. Confirming the layoffs, Open Door said new listings have fallen by around 30% from their peak in 2022 due to higher mortgage interest rates. So you're seeing the prices real time, right? The data on the economic data calendars may be a little bit more lagging but you're seeing real time on on websites like open door and so on where their listings are falling approximately 30 percent and they're dropping quite quickly 
not a good sign. So Open Door reported a loss of 1.4 billion in 2022, more than double of 662 million loss in 2021, despite nearly doubling sales of 15.6 billion. Open Door uses artificial intelligence systems and other technologies to help with with help it buy and price thousands of homes aiming to flip in few months for a profit. Well, guess what? Very difficult now when you don't have much demand and no one can afford it with the higher rates. And importantly, don't forget no one can afford it with higher rates. The banks, the banks are feeling the pinch, especially if rates are going higher and there's, there's these these losses and you own on your balance sheet, you know, bonds that have lost a lot of value. And on, on top of that, rates are expected to be high for longer. You as a bank, you don't want to be lending like you were back in 2020, 2021, right? Obviously, you're going to restrict. And in, in fact, you're going to look at the people that you've given credit limits to and maybe crunch up that credit limit and, and take backs because you, you, you see more pain to come. Right. So definitely, even the lending side of things, even the banks don't want to do a deal um, or with, with everyone unless you really are able to make the payments. And that's why the demand is looking really bad and, and, and a company like Open Door cutting off their workers. So moving on, at the year end, Open Door had nearly 13,000 unsold homes out of 35,000 homes purchased in 2022. By comparison, it bought under 37,000 37, homes in 2021. Shares of Open Door, which was on Monday, up nearly 60%. This year fell more than 5% after. Okay, so this is a little bit of an older article, but does tell you that, hey, you know, it, these are the signs. These are the signs. You're seeing the pinch, especially big wide cuts, 18% November, 22% uh, this time in this month. This is not a fear mongering video. This is just the reality of what is unfolding and what is to come down the road. Right. So let me know what you guys think. What are you seeing in your area in terms of real estate and the properties and out there in terms of rent? Also, comment below, subscribe, hit the like button, bell icon to be notified on the next video. And I'll see you around. Cheers. Bye.